everyone, it's Hayes, and it's Miraculous Monday, so it's time for another screaming session. Good evening. And this week, as voted for by you, we will be looking at the Adrianette and Lady Noir from Ladybug. Now, I also know there was a lot of Gabe Nath in this episode, but I'm just going to kind of ignore it for now, and I'm going to save it all for a dedicated Gabe Nath screaming session. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about it, but we just won't be talking about it today. But we will, soon, I promise. So let's start with Adrian in his room, making the charm for Baronet. Now, I have always thought this charm, um, I've always thought this charm was a bit ugly. Don't get me wrong, he tried his best. I love the effort he put into it. I appreciate it for that. And I also love that Adrian has never thought to make anyone else any of these charms. This episode was in season three, but obviously it's referencing Bafana, which was in season two. And since then, we've had other people's birthdays, for example, Julika and Luca. And while I do assume Adrian was invited to that party and just wasn't allowed to go, neither of the twins got a charm from him. I love that these charms are basically exclusive to Adrian and Marinette. They better use them soon for <laughs> something. <laughs> like, seriously, please, <laughs> just use them. Get on with it. Just do it! So Adrian asks his dad, of all people, for a second opinion on this. Maybe because he knows the charm is as ugly as the clothes Gabriel designs. And he's like, um, who's Marinette? And he's like, oh, the girl who designed that hat in the competition. And Daddy Agress remembers her, specifically with that facial expression. Amazing. Adrian then basically just starts telling his dad how awesome and amazing and wonderful Marinette is. And I swear to God, this man is deaf for not realising it means he has a crush on her. <laughs> Dear God, the men in this family. Like, look how happy Adrian is when his dad says he can go. For God's sake, Adrian, you cannot hide your feelings to save your life. So Lila plants the test answers on Marinette and Miss Bustier accuses her of cheating and Adrian, my guy, stands up for his girl in class. Yes, lad, best boy. And then again in the locker room a bit later, he tries again to help her as opposed to everyone else who says, absolutely nothing, well done, you're all brilliant friends. Natalie then takes the Peacock Miraculous back from Daddy Agrest while he's having a little nap. I wonder if Gabriel sleeps with his Miraculous on, like at night. Like, I'm sure Adrian and Marinette do sleep with theirs on, but a ring and earrings, they're much less intrusive than a brooch. Like, how <laughs> how's he gonna hide it at night? Like, does he put his pyjamas on, then a brooch, which looks silly on its own with pyjamas, and then puts a cravat over it? Does he have a cravat for sleeping in? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just imagining how stupid he'd look. <laughs> so like I said, Natalie takes the Peacock Miraculous and goes to make Sentibug, but before she does, Dusu asks the question we've all been wondering about the sewers. But then, what are we doing here? Mate, I wish I could tell you because I don't know either. Back at school, Adrian eavesdrops on Alia's message to Marinette, then spots Lila joking around, and I mean, he doesn't get that far because he gets the news notification about Ladybug and Mayura, but I swear to God, if he had gone over, oh boy, I so badly wanted to know what he was going to say to her. Like, don't get me wrong, Adrian can be an absolute pushover most of the time. But he knows when the right time to act is, and he knew this was the time. And honestly, I would expect by the time he had finished this conversation with Lila, he would have truly and utterly destroyed her. All right, clap if you think she should suffer. So Captain Noir runs to go and help Sentibug, and I'm not going to talk too much about this scene since it's not actually Ladybug, so I guess it's technically Lady Noir, it's Senti <laughs> Lady Noir, I guess. But the way Cat Noir holds her and takes care of her, it's such a sweet and tender moment. I can't wait until they get together and they know who the other person is. Like, anytime she's hurt, he's going to be there for her. Physical injury, emotional pain, something mental going on, whatever it is he is going to be the best. However, even when the real Ladybug shows up and Cat Noir finally believes it's her, even though she's just told him again she loves someone else, he still tells her he loves her the way she is. He's so sweet. And oh my god, so is Nuru. Daddy Aggress wakes up and finds out what's going on and he's like, why didn't you wake me up? And Nuru says, I couldn't bring myself to master. You were sleeping so peacefully. He is so cute, Gabriel. You do not deserve a Kwame this nice. He's such a precious bean. But all nice and fuzzy moments are gone when Ladybug throws Mayura off the Arch Triumph and a Daddy Aggress follows up with throwing his own son off too. Fabulous, although Gabriel holding Adrian like this is probably the first hug he's given his son in a while. So, last part of the episode now, and while Adrian and Marinette don't appear together for this part, 
To me, this is still a very significant Adrianette moment because of what Adrian does for her. He basically uses himself as the prize in order to blackmail Lila into taking back her lie about Marinette in order to get her back into school. He definitely does not want to be on that photo shoot with Lila. Look at his face, listen to how he sounds. He doesn't want to be there, he doesn't want to be there with her, but he'll do it to save Marinette. It speaks to how much he cares about her that he's going to do that for her. But he is also a bit stupid because he tells Lila she's good at lying. Adrian, bestie, my son. We are not watching the same show. <laughs> so let's take a look at the fan art for this week. We have two pieces from Mate Glocker, one with Felix using the Peacock Miraculous and another of Aurore using the Bunny Miraculous. They both look amazing. I especially love Aurore with the Bunny Miraculous, giving Alice in Wonderland type vibes. Then we have a sketch of Pig Ella from Daria. And oh my God, she looks so cute. I mean, Pig Ella's always cute. Her hair gets me every single time, like... I low-key want that hair. Not as much as I want Lady B's hair, though. Obviously, Lady B will forever reign supreme in my heart as a list of hairstyles I want. Always at the top. Or is it Multi Mouse's hair? I still can't work out which one I like more. Okay. I can't. I can't pick between them. Don't make me, please. I love them both. <laughs> okay. Then we have four pieces from Nathart's. The first one is of Ladybug combining the Ladybug, Bee and Bunny Miraculouses. And oh my god, she looks so cool. Again, with the Lady Bee hairstyle. Obviously, beautiful, amazing. Anyone with that hairstyle is beautiful and amazing just by default, you know what I mean? <laughs> then we have a piece of Shadow Daddy using the cat and butterfly miraculous. Really love his eyes. He looks cool with green eyes. And then we also have a piece of my son Mark using the ladybug miraculous. And oh my god, he is cuteness personified. Oh my, he is so adorable. How, how does anyone dislike Mark? If you dislike Mark, tell me why. What on earth has he done to you? Did he kill your mum or something? What on earth has this boy done? This sweet, innocent, lovely child. What on earth has he done to make you hate him? Nothing. The answer is nothing. If you hate Mark, you're lying to yourself. No one can hate Mark. I know I've spoken too long about Mark. And the final piece from Nathart is another piece of Mark. This time it's a transformation sequence for Rooster Bald. It looks so good and... Who knows when we'll actually see the transformation sequence for any of the new heroes now because, um, well, we all know. We all know what happened. And the final piece of fan art for this week is from Soggy Sagay. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not because I'm pretty sure that's not how I'm saying it. And it's a piece of me with the Ladybug Miraculous. You always make me look so nice in fan art, besties. You always give me the best hair in fan art. I have better hair in fan art than I have in real life sad. <laughs> anyway, there will be a poll up tomorrow so you can vote for the next screaming session. However, there will be no screaming session next week because next week we will be doing the meme review again. I haven't done one in a while so if you don't know what a meme review is, I basically react to some miraculous ladybug memes and talk a bit. It's a fun time but of course we will continue with the screaming sessions too. What was your favourite Love Square moment from Ladybug Besties? I'll see you in the next one.